These are essential for the health of landscapes, for pollination of our crops, our agriculture. We have been seeing bees disappearing over the last 50 years. The constant decline of pollinators and the increase for food demand is not sustainable. We need to produce 60% more food over the next three decades if we are here to feed our population. Without bees, you don't have food. Without bees, you don't have forest. Without bees, you don't have a healthy planet. No bees, no man. We have to do something about it. So how can we distinguish bees? The only way for us to do that is to use a microchip. We use a little bit of super glue, then we put the RFID on the back of the bee. As of today, we have more than half a million tags attached to bees worldwide. We're giving them a piece of technology that they can carry. So it's just like you carrying a backpack. I contacted Itachi not only to provide us with a product, but I was expecting a technical partner able to assist us in adapting the technology to our needs. The support from Itachi technical staff was absolutely great and celebrated. They came from Japan to Tasmania to attend the launch of our global initiative for honeybee health. In the same way as we use, say, a token in our vehicles going through tollways, as bees are entering and exiting the hive, we can track them at an individual level. So we produce data 24 hours a day. It doesn't matter where you are, the whole planet, we have those bees with backpacks collecting data in real time non-stop. We have learned a lot about bees since we started the experiment. 20% of bees in a hive will change to the next hive, stay a few days there and then fly back. And that is important knowledge for beekeepers because this is how they could spread diseases. Yeah, Itachi is an ideal partner for this project. When you combine the expertise based on the technology developed by Itachi and the technology developed by CSIRO, we openly talk and ways we can improve it and make it better. It's magical. And this is where the, the innovation happens. There's no way that a single research group can solve the problems of the decline of pollinators. We partner to make a difference and create a positive impact to our planet. When we join forces, develop new technologies to enable scientists and beekeepers to collaborate on a global scale to address some pressing needs for food security and health of our ecosystems. We create social innovation. So we have then scientists from Mexico, scientists from the United States, scientists from Brazil and from Argentina working together. And this is part of the, the social innovation sharing the technology and then enabling us to understand the problems we have and then develop solutions before it becomes too late. It's very easy to focus on the negative, but we feel that we can solve this problem. What we think is really important is how we can use innovation and data science and technology to define problems that are solvable and then to coordinate our efforts to actually change the way the world is. We're still collecting pieces of that puzzle to see the big picture of this problem. And by understanding that problem, we are contributing to the future of our planet and building a better place for our next generations to live in.